Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. River cane grows anywhere from a few inches to 20 feet tall, and it used to be found all over Oklahoma rivers. To Native American tribes, it was the plastic of its day. So where you, can you still find remnants of the last art of river cane weaving? Galen Culver takes us to Idabel. There have been prehistoric fragments found. Of the pottery shards, wooden artifacts, and even dinosaur bones housed at the Museum of the Red River in Idabel. Well, people are still using it today. Some of the most fragile and precious are made from river cane the only naturally occurring species of bamboo that grows in Oklahoma. We have one of the really premier collections of southeastern river cane basketry in the country. Keeper of collections Daniel Vick organizes thousands of examples of basket weaving from all over the Americas, but the heart of this huge collection consists of the tribes who used to live in this part of Oklahoma, the Caddo first, then Choctaw and Cherokee, who used river cane to make all manner of household items, but chiefly baskets. Okay, so this is an example of a, a heart basket, which was made by a Choctaw weaver in Oklahoma, um, probably in the 1920s. Basket fibers, some of them thousands of years old, have been unearthed by archaeologists, but surviving baskets older than a century are particularly difficult to find. Basketry and other fiber arts um, are made from organic materials, so in general they don't hold up as well to the ravages of time. Stands River Cane declined with tribal culture. This type of basket weaving nearly vanished. Some of the few remaining cane weavers came here to study old techniques by looking at what they found on these shelves. I can show them a piece and they're able to tell what type of weave the maker was, was working with. Vic and staff sometimes find themselves halting their everyday tasks to appreciate the intricacies of weavers from generations ago. It, it kind of pulls you back into awe art and everyday use working together, preserved here, like the containers themselves, to hold a fragile legacy. In Idabel, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? Pretty cool. The Museum of the Red River started back in the mid-70s with collections from tribes who lived in and around McCurtain County. It has since expanded to include artifacts from all over the world.